Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Tacky Is Me. My name is Daniel and I'm a reseller on eBay and newer to YouTube here. Um, so today I thought we'd do something a little bit different, but not really different. I'm still going to show you stuff, but the stuff I'm going to show you is I don't have listed up on eBay yet. It's a box of smalls that I got basically for free. So I thought we'd just go through that and I'd show it to you. And some of it, I don't even remember what's in there. So uh, we'll do that because this week has really been a struggle for me. I've been in the blues, down in the dumps, whatever. The weather's been very dreary and I just haven't been motivated. So today's the first day of 2021 and it's taken me a while to get around. Um, usually I upload my videos on Friday, but um, run a little late. I think I'll still get it up on Friday, but it's sure not at eight o'clock like I normally have it scheduled because I just didn't feel like filming this week and it was just a struggle. So we're gonna go through and go through these smalls and see what they are. And then at some point in time, I will have them um, listed up on eBay so let's just get started on this so here we go okay so i guess we'll start with some of the stuff that i want to get out of the way the first thing we're gonna look at here is an old vintage potato masher um it's lost most of its collaring on there but you can tell it is probably from the 30s maybe with that collar on it i'm not for sure 20s 30s something like that so there's that, um, and then I have this. I'm not even for sure if this is vintage or not. It looks vintage, but um, there's no marking on it. It's just a little bowl, and it has the little applied flower, and it it's not chipped or anything on there, amazingly. And it has the lattice work on here. I would say this is probably an Italian. That's usually with the lattice there that I see a lot of Italian stuff. And then it does have the, um, it's not hand painted. It's a graphic that's on there, but it is really cute and really pretty. There's a close up of the applied flower and then the transfer. That's what I was trying to think of. So there's that. And once again, not marked. So that is really cute. I like that cute. Um, let's see, I have this sun catcher from Hawaii. It's a little underwater scene of a sunfish. So there's the back of it, but it does have Hawaii written down there. So there's that little sun catcher. And then... We have these uh, made in Japan blue salt and pepper shakers that the, has the fruit bowls on it. Um, you see quite a bit of those. So there's the bottom there. Am I holding it up right? I think it's a narco or one of those. So both those have their tags on it with the little numbers. So there's those. And this is vintage, but sadly, it's all by itself. A little deer, and it has the chain. So it was attached at some point in time to a mama and probably a little sibling. But this is all I have of it. Look at that little fawn. How cute is that? I love those little vintage deers. And so there's the bottom. And it is... Hold that thought, old man needs his glasses on. Oh, this is Norcrest. Norcrest, Japan. So there you go. Once again, it's sad that it's not with its family, but it's still cute all by itself. So there's that. We'll just put you back down in there. And then I have this souvenir piece from Arizona, and it's a Roadrunner. Get you up there to that. Take it back. 
and it is some type of metal. I'm not for sure if it's just a pot metal or what. And then there's the bottom. But it is fairly heavy for the size it is because it's, it's a smaller piece. But once again, it's a souvenir piece from Arizona. So there goes the Roadrunner. Um, then we have... These salt and pepper shakers from Fort Riley in Kansas. Um, they do have their little corks up there. Um, and there's the where the salt and pepper comes out. And there's the back of them. And I don't know anything about these. This, the big one, I don't know if they're a homemade piece or what. I don't know if you can see that, but there is something there, and then there's like a signature down here. So I don't know if these are homemade pieces, but there we go. From Fort Riley, Kansas. Little jugs. Salt and pepper shakers. Get those back in there. Then we have... Sorry, all this stuff is just thrown in there, so, and luckily, I don't think any of it's chipped, but whenever I list it, I'll look them over and make sure to um, label those. We have these little bisque angels. There's those, and then there's um, that one there by itself. It's holding a dove or some type of bird. Um, she had a label on her at one point in time, but she doesn't now, so I'm not for sure who makes this. This one feels different than the others. Um, it's not, doesn't have that bisque feeling to it, but it is still some type of ceramic. So there's her. And then these have numbers on the bottom of them, and they did have a tag at one point in time. I would say probably Japan since they have those numbers, but I could be wrong on that. But there's the angel there. So there's two of the ones with the ponytail. They're exactly alike. And then we have the little short haired one. So there's that. And there's the back. And. This looks like it may have a date on it. I'm not for sure. There's the marking on the bottom. You can decide what that is and decipher that. So there's those angels that will be up. Let's lay the angels down. And then these are resin. Yeah, they're just resin kissing Dutch people. So there's their faces. These may be homemade jobbies too. I don't know. You can see that she has some wear on her back of her little hat. But she has a little flower on there. And then there's the bottom. No markings. So I don't know who did these. And there he is doing his little kissing. He has some wear on him too. Has the flowers behind him. So, and they're fairly heavy, so, but they are just resin pieces, and her shoes are kind of missing a lot of the collar, too. But those are cute, just cute little kissing, but there is little chips and places missed all over them. So there's those. And then I have another sun catcher. Whoops, hold on. We're tangled up here. Okay, so it's a glass cross and it has the red in the middle and then the cream colored stained glass around it so and there's that and like I said I have no idea where any of this stuff came from it was just a box that I got and it was basically for free 
the most this stuff would have cost us to, like 20 cents a piece or whatever and then here's a little white squirrel and this is actually from I don't know if you're gonna be able to read it or not let's see so it's from Olney Illinois and it is a little souvenir piece too because Olney Illinois is known for their white squirrels they have a population of white albino squirrels in their town so that's what they're known for and there's the little souvenir piece from there what else we got we got this cute little bird just all by itself and it's done in a shiny clay so it's not bisque and then there's the bottom no markings just a cute little songbird just chirping away there's that and what else we got I'm not even for sure about this it's a little black ceramic iron no marks on the bottom but it does have the top open I'm not for sure I guess you set it up like that and Put an air plant in it I have no idea it's so small I don't know what you would use that for but yeah there's that it's amazing all the stuff that have been made over the decades of little stuff that I just don't know about and then I have this beautiful cloisonne bell isn't she pretty and even on the inside. Let's see if I can ring it right. Nice little clipper clapper on it. Um, made by NYCO. And then the date on this, I believe, was 19. Hold on, old man glasses again. Uh, 1999. So. Is it vintage? Is it considered vintage? I don't know, but there's the tag you can read. But it has some very pretty colors to it. So pretty enamel wear on that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then I have, and I'm gonna list them all together. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven of these all together, so I'll show you all differently. But there's, they're frozen Charlottes, I think is what they're called. They're from Japan, because some of them, they're marked like on the back. But there's three of these, and they're all the exact same. There's little boys in their trousers. And as you can see, they have condition issues. Their cold paint's coming off, but they are marked right there. All of them are marked on their backings. So that's what they look like. There's those. And then I have these two little girls. They're, I don't, they're different. One's in winter clothes and one's in, and they're holding a little dolly on each side so there's those and as you can see the paint is really wore off especially this one and you can see that it's marked Japan on the back both of them and there's a, their little feetsies and then there's this one that I'm gonna put with it this feels like chalkware and I'm not for sure how old this is this might be a lot older than the others but he's a little baby, or she, and she's, it just has a lot of wear on it. There is no marking on the bottom of it, so I'm not for sure. I'm thinking it's another Japan piece. But there's the sweet little face, and it's missing a lot, but I think this is like chalkware. 
This feels different than the others. So there's that. And then the last, this poor little lady, she's naked and she has some major issues. So, but it's still a vintage frozen, well, I don't even know if she's considered frozen Charlotte, but she's a little Japan doll. So there's her face. She has the cutest little face, but as you can see, her little toes are gone. She's got toes missing there. And there's her little behind and her little front. Sorry, she doesn't have clothes on. Um, her arms, what holds them together inside, I'm sure is very delicate and maybe getting ready to fall apart. So I'm not messing with that too much. And then here, and there's, can you hear that? There's something going on inside too. But there it says Japan. So, and there's her little broken foot. Oh, it says it on that one, sorry. On the little broken foot it says Japan. There we go. So, but she has a little headband that's been painted and her face is still cute, but she has some issues and she's a little dirty. So, um, and her little cheek, Something's going on there. I think it's just missing the paint. It's not chipped or anything from the feel of it. So all of those will be together. And I think that's it. I do have, I, I'll show it to you, but I don't think I'm gonna list it, but I have this little dish here. It's just cute with the painting on it, or the, not painting, but transfer. It has gold trim around it and then Oh, I can't remember what the bottom was. Old man glasses alert again. Hold that thought. It's dark in here. I can't see. Even with my glasses, I'm not for sure what that says. So hold on. Let me get my jeweler's thing out. We'll see what it says. Well... I said those were transfer, but it says on there, it says hand painted. I don't know if that's right side up or, so we'll just turn it both ways. You can figure out what it says. But the reason I'm not gonna list it is because there's a big old chip right there on the inside. So I don't think it would be worth listing something that small with a chip in it. So there's that. And I believe that is all we have in that box. That's quite a bit. So those are little smalls that I'm going to try to uh, resell and maybe get just, you know, a buck or two or more out of them. It's just according. And like I said, they're not listed on uh, eBay yet. But whenever I can get motivated with everything, I'll get around to getting those listed. And we'll see what happens with that. We'll see if little sales will lead to either little sales or maybe bigger sales. I don't know. Anyways, that's all I have for you this week. So I appreciate you stopping by. And if you would, if you would subscribe, hit the like button and leave me a comment down below. So it'll help my channel grow. I would appreciate it. And uh, let me know what you think about all the smalls down in the comments. I'd appreciate it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.